today I received my M1 Mac and I've started to use it as one of my main developer laptops. And one of the main things we need on Mac is Homebrew. So if you don't know, Homebrew is a package manager and this is their website. But the issue is if we try to install it, it can't be installed on the M1 Mac because it, it's ARM based. So the M1 chip doesn't work or the brew doesn't work on the M1 chip and if you try to install it you get a big error like this that says homebrew is not yet supported on ARM processors and you need to run it under Rosetta 2. So the Rosetta 2 is actually an emulator and the way you have to use it is you need to run the same command in a special way so let's copy it again and at the front of this what we'll do is type in arch for architecture and the architecture we'll be using is dash x86 for x86 64 so that's the same thing as an intel based mac and if we run the same command and type in our password we the script starts to run and it says press return to continue so let's do that so now once that's installed you should be able to run brew dash v to find out the version number and we still have to do one other thing in order to use it because anytime you type in brew, you'll have to type in the same same few things called you know architecture dash x86 underscore 64 every time you want to run brew. So a good way to do this would be to create an alias, which is what I'll show you now. So you want to copy this exact thing. If we open our home folder here. If you have your hidden files showing, you should be able to see this, but you should be able to see it anyway in the uh, command line. So if we type in ls and you want to open this file here called .zshrc, or if you're using bash, the same file will be called .bashrc. So let's open this in Vim, or you can use any, any uh, text editor of your choice. So what I'm talking about is are these aliases. So if you alias brew to be arch x86, 64 brew then every time you type in brew it actually means you're typing all of this so that's a quick shortcut for you so if you type in brew it means the same thing as that and now you can start installing any brew packages that you need so this works is exactly the same way as any intel based max so in this case i just installed htop so now if i type in htop i'll get the program running and you can also use this for different services. Like uh, if, for example, for one of my projects, I had to uh, install Postgres. So I have that running as a, as a brew service here. So that's a quick tip for you guys for running brew on macOS with the M1 chip. Let me know if you have any other questions about this or about the M1 Mac and I can make a video about that. Thanks.